In the tapestry of television history, where each thread weaves its own narrative, there exists a luminous strand that takes us back to a time when laughter was the melody of our screens. Picture it, a sepia-toned era of 69, a year that resonated with change, rebellion, and a certain show that would charm its way into our hearts, The Bill Cosby Show. It was a time capsule of an era, an artifact of the past, a treasure trove of memories waiting to be unearthed. As the flickering screen welcomed viewers into the Hank's humble abode, a magnetic aura enveloped the room, connecting households across the nation. Cliff Huxtable, portrayed with impeccable finesse by Bill Cosby, was more than just a character. He was a prism, refracting the colors of life's quirks through his genuine humor and heartfelt wisdom. Remember the palpable anticipation as you tuned in each week, eager to revisit the Huxtable clan's escapades. Their trials and triumphs became our own, a testament to the universal language of family. Yet, within this comedic haven lay profound moments that lingered like whispered echoes. That time when Cliff orchestrated a memorable anniversary surprise for Claire, channeling romance through jazz and candlelight, remains etched in our collective memory. And who could forget the poignant conversations between Cliff and Theo as fatherhood intertwined with life lessons in the most endearing of ways. These weren't mere scripted scenes, they were glimpses of real life, relatable, authentic, and vividly resonant. Now, let's lift the curtain on some intriguing tidbits that danced behind the scenes of this iconic show. Did you know that Bill Cosby's real-life experiences heavily influenced the show's content? lending an air of authenticity to every punchline and poignant moment. And that the show's focus on an affluent African-American family challenged societal norms, painting a new narrative on the canvas of primetime television. Intriguing, isn't it? The Bill Cosby Show wasn't just a sitcom, it was a cultural touchstone, a symphony of laughter and life. So, dear reader, let these fragments of memory unfurl a tapestry in your mind. One woven with laughter, insight, and nostalgia. And there you have it, the stage set, the spotlight turned on to the fascinating revelations about the Bill Cosby Show. As we delve into these random facts, remember the chuckles it brought, the heartwarming tales it spun, and the profound impact it left. Bill Cosby's 1969 TV series, The Bill Cosby Show, remains a landmark in television history, with intriguing behind-the-scenes anecdotes that shed light on its production. One particular episode stands out, directed by the legendary Melvin Van Peebles, whose distinctive style left an indelible mark on the set. As recounted by second assistant director Charles Washburn, Van Peebles brought a raw, unfiltered energy to the set during his directorial stint. Known for his daring approach, Van Peebles' use of strong language, including the infamous F and MF words, startled and unnerved other crew members. The result? An atmosphere of hesitation, where crew members felt reluctant to bring their families to the set, lest they encounter Van Peebles' candid language. Interestingly, this episode's candid vibe provides a sharp contrast to another notable decision involving the show. The network had entertained the idea of adding a laugh track to enhance the comedic elements of the series. However, this proposal met with stern resistance from none other than the show's star, Bill Cosby. Cosby, a visionary in his own right, rejected the notion of artificial laughter, valuing the authenticity of genuine audience reactions to his humor. The Bill Cosby show thus stands as a testament to both Cosby's dedication to his creative vision and the unique challenges that emerged on set. While the clash of creative perspectives and uncensored language left their marks, they also added layers of intrigue to the show's narrative. In retrospect, The Bill Cosby Show not only entertained audiences with its humor, but also provides a window into the dynamic world of television production in the late 1960s. It remains a canvas where artistic clashes and bold choices converge to shape a truly distinctive viewing experience, reminding us that the magic of television often unfolds beyond the screen. The Bill Cosby Show of 1969, a television series that captured the hearts of viewers, harbored a pivotal moment when director Melvin Van Peebles took the helm for an episode. According to second assistant director Charles Washburn, Van Peebles' colorful vocabulary, riddled with expletives like the infamous F and MF words, cast a palpable unease among crew members. Their trepidation was such that they refrained from inviting their families to the set during his directorial stint. Van Peebles, known for his audacious style and unapologetic artistic expression, infused the episode with a unique vigor that left an indelible mark. 
Yet, his penchant for profanities created an unexpected atmosphere, one where creative brilliance mingled with discomfort. The clash between artistic freedom and traditional set etiquette was palpable. Amidst this backdrop, another intriguing facet of the show's production emerged. The network executives, perhaps aiming to enhance audience engagement, proposed the addition of a laugh track to the Bill Cosby show. However, Bill Cosby, the show's iconic star and creative force, stood firm in his disapproval of this idea. Cosby's commitment to portraying genuine, relatable human interactions prevailed, and his veto on the laugh track persisted. In the annals of television history, The Bill Cosby Show of 1969 stands as a nuanced tapestry of creativity and conflict. The clash of personalities, from Van Peebles' unfiltered vision to Cosby's steadfast artistic integrity, encapsulated the dynamics of a transformative era in television. As the years have passed, the series remains a testament to the intricacies and complexities that can arise behind the scenes of a beloved show. In retrospect, the divergent visions of Van Peebles and Cosby, along with the network's laugh track proposition, showcase the multifaceted nature of television production. These anecdotes unveil the inner workings of a show that left an indelible legacy on the landscape of entertainment. Melvin Van Peebles, celebrated for his audacious filmmaking, took a surprising turn directing an episode of The Bill Cosby Show in 1969. The usually genial set was caught off guard by his penchant for colorful language. Second assistant director Charles Washburn reveals that Van Peebles' fondness for expletives, including the notorious F and MF words, left crew members hesitant to invite their families on set. The clash between Van Peebles' unapologetic style and the show's more traditional atmosphere created an unexpected tension. In a similar vein, the network's desire to insert a laugh track into the series encountered resistance, particularly from the show's star and namesake, Bill Cosby. As the driving force behind the show's warm-hearted humor, Cosby firmly opposed the idea of manufactured laughter punctuating his performances. His insistence on the authenticity of audience reactions showcased his dedication to a more organic comedic experience. These instances provide intriguing glimpses into the dynamics that shaped the Bill Cosby show. The clash between Van Peebles' explicit language and the show's family-friendly image, as well as Cosby's unwavering stance against canned laughter, underscore the complexities of producing a beloved sitcom. These anecdotes remind us that behind every on-screen smile lies a tapestry of behind-the-scenes decisions and negotiations that shape the final product. And so, the 1969 television series The Bill Cosby Show emerges as a snapshot of both the era's shifting cultural norms and the nuanced interplay between creative minds and network demands. It's behind-the-scenes stories, such as Melvin Van Peebles' surprising directorial choices and Bill Cosby's resolute stance on laughter, offer a glimpse into the delicate balancing act required to bring a successful show to life. Unveiling behind-the-scenes drama, Bill Cosby's battle against the laugh track in the annals of television history, 1969 saw the emergence of The Bill Cosby Show, a sitcom that showcased the comedic prowess of its eponymous star. Amidst the joviality, however, simmered a battle that highlighted Cosby's unwavering creative vision. The Clash The network's fervent desire to infuse the show with canned laughter, a move staunchly opposed by the comedic maestro himself. Cosby, celebrated for his distinct brand of humor, envisioned his show as a departure from traditional sitcom conventions. He sought a more authentic and natural comedic rhythm, one that would resonate with audiences without the crutch of artificial laughter. This put him at odds with the network executives who believed that a laugh track was essential to guide viewers' responses and ensure the show's success. Behind closed doors, the clash ensued. Cosby, known for his assertive stance on creative matters, vehemently rejected the notion of a laugh track. He contended that his humor was nuanced, relying on timing, expression, and the subtleties of human interaction. Adding artificial laughter, he argued, would not only dilute his comedic artistry, but also undermine the show's potential impact. The network's insistence on the laugh track was a reflection of the prevailing norms in television production. Many popular sitcoms of the era heavily relied on canned laughter, creating an almost Pavlovian response in the audience. Cosby's refusal to conform to this convention was a testament to his dedication to his craft 
and his determination to shape the show on his terms. Ultimately, Cosby's vision prevailed. The Bill Cosby show remained laugh track free, a rarity in its time, and offered a refreshing comedic experience that stood out in the television landscape. It became a pivotal moment that highlighted the power of creative autonomy in the face of industry norms. As the years have rolled on, The Bill Cosby Show continues to be remembered not just for its humor, but for the principled stand taken by its star. It serves as a reminder that even in the realm of entertainment, where compromise often reigns, the integrity of artistic vision can emerge victorious. So, next time you enjoy a hearty chuckle from the antics of Chet Kincaid, Remember the battle against the laugh track that raged behind the scenes, a testament to Bill Cosby's resolute commitment to his craft. In the world of television, where conformity often tugs at creative freedom, this was a victory for artistic authenticity. As we draw the curtains on this journey through the captivating universe of The Bill Cosby Show, the echoes of laughter, life lessons, and heartwarming moments continue to resonate. This timeless series has woven its threads into the tapestry of our lives, leaving us with a sense of connection that transcends time. As you've delved into the anecdotes of the Huxtable family, perhaps you've found a reflection of your own experiences, a glimpse of your aspirations, or even a source of comfort in the midst of life's complexities. The charm of Cliff's wisdom, Claire's elegance, and the delightful chaos of Theo, Vanessa, Denise, Ruddy, and even the eccentric charm of Elvin has etched its mark on our hearts. Now, as the credits roll on the screen, inviting you to a moment of contemplation, take a breath and let your mind wander to those cherished memories the show has gifted you. Did a particular episode evoke hearty laughter or a poignant tear? Was it a piece of advice from Cliff that still guides you, or perhaps the sibling dynamics that reminded you of your own family? Whatever it is, your connection with The Bill Cosby Show is a personal story worth sharing. So, whether it's reminiscing with friends, sharing thoughts online, or simply savoring these memories in quiet solitude, take a step to relive those cherished moments. Your voice adds to the collective narrative that makes this show truly special. Thank you for embarking on this trip down memory lane for allowing The Bill Cosby Show to be not just a series, but a part of your own history. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated as they keep the spirit of this show alive in the hearts of many. Warmly, your name.